your own person. Be your own identity. Build who you are. Stand on your own too. Idols fans are not your fans. Metro FM fans are not your fans. YFM fans or supporters or listeners are not your supporters or listeners. Bonang's fans are not your fans. DJ Sbu fans are not your fans. Boiti's fans are not your fans. Pearl Tusi's fans are not your fans. Casper's fans are not your fans. Build your own. When somebody puts you on, it doesn't mean you're on already. You are in that environment because they are putting you on. See how people treat you when they are around them. They are treating you that way because you are around the star or you are around a certain name, or you are around a certain brand, or you carry the tag of the SABC, you carry the tag of 5FM, you carry the tag of Mungana Lonen FM, you carry the tag of Tobela FM, Ukozi FM, you carry the tag of the company that you work for. They're treating you a certain way because you work at Vodacom, because you've got a position at MTN, because you've got a, a position at um, Metropolitan. But once you're outside of that environment, are they going to treat you the same? So go build, go build your own fans. Go build your own fan base. Go build your own supporters. Go build your own platforms. Go build your own brand. Go build yourself. Go stand on your own too. Let people know who you are. Let people know what you're about. Let people know what you represent. Let people know what you stand for. Let people know what you have to bring to the table. Because it's easy for you to be clouded by my fans, my supporters, my followers, or even my haters, <laughs> my spectators, and then you think, oh, good mommy, maybe now they hate you too, or maybe now they're dragging you for whatever reason, or maybe they're loving you, for whatever, but they're loving you because you're around me, or you're around or you are carrying the badge of that company. But what happens when you are no longer working at that company? Are they still going to treat you the same? I doubt it. I don't think so. When Kabzella put me on, I had to make means to put myself on. And then I meet Paul Mnisumvula. Thank you, my brother, for contributing towards my career. I'll always shout you out and give you your flowers and appreciate you, Mr. Greg Maloka. Thank you for realizing a talent and seeing something in me. Thank you to TK Nliza. Thank you to DJ Fresh. Thank you to Majota Kambul Fejo. But I had to get myself in those spaces as much as I was in the YFM building. I knew that YFM fans are not my fans. I also realized it when I got fired from the SABC. It wasn't easy to come back and get back on my own too and build again. It wasn't easy. I realized it. Sometimes it's easy, especially for us people in the entertainment industry. Let me not even talk about entertainers. Let me just talk about everybody. Because all of you guys, even though you're not in the entertainment business, but you're probably working for a, a corporate company that is highly recognized, people treat you a certain way because of the badge that you carry, because of the company that you work from or that you work for. But I would like to encourage you and say, go build yourself, man. Go stand on your own too. Go be your own person. It's not, that's not going to be easy. But it's easier when while you were still at that company, while you still had that relationship with such and such, you were able to build relationships. You were able to be somebody of value, somebody who brings something to the table, but somebody that people can rely on. Are you somebody that people can trust? Are you somebody that people can rely on? Do you have some sort of talent that you're bringing to the table? Are you somebody that when you are in that platform and you get exposed to this audience, as you move away, not everybody's going to move with you, but the little or the few that do, do you have something to offer? That the few that move with you, you build on that. You start building on that. Stand on your own too. Have a backbone. Stand in your own to have a no. Have a 
Know what you're about. Know what you stand for. Know what your principles and values are. Know things that you can't get involved in, things that you can't do, things that you will not allow your brand or yourself just to be associated with or to stand for. You have to be about something. What do you bring to the table? Go build yourself. Jay-Z came with a rapper called Jez O back in the day. He even says it in a lot of his rhymes in his earlier music. When he says, I came in the, in, in the game on Jezo's back and then I had to stand on my own too, like boom, on the ground. And I built on that. What are you building on? Build on it, man. It doesn't mean when you leave idols, now you're a star. You might just get in there and just get all of that fame and the noise and you're trending and then you think those people love you. No, they're talking about you because you're an idols. As soon as you leave idols, they're going to be on to the next person because they're the fans of the show, not your fans. You're going to have to go start. At least you're not going to go start from scratch, but you're going to have to go build on that. So don't let the hype or don't, don't let the clout misguide you or cloud your judgment. Nobody's bigger than the brand. As soon as you're out of the door, they replace you immediately. As soon as I was out of friends like these, they replaced me. As soon as I was out of Metro FM, they replaced me. At least I'm a hustler. I was able to build on what I had built from or what I had come with from Metro FM, from YFM, from Ukozi FM. I, that's why, that's a, the main reason why during my prime in the music industry, when I had top 10 music, when I had my prime time TV show, my prime time radio shows, I made sure that I start thinking forward. I start introducing more fire into the marketplace because this is a business where I'm not going to get fired from unless one day where I'm out, I'm out or whatever it is, but it's something that I think could, be, could give me longevity. It's something that I think could add some sort of value to the South African public. It's something that I think I could build for the future of my children. It's something that I think I could turn into passive income. It's something that I could turn into a generational legacy type of a project. You know? I've been out of the mainstream since 2015. It's now 2023. It's eight years later. I'm standing on my own too. But yes, it hasn't been easy. I had to build. So now I have that mindset. Don't be cloud. Don't have any of this. Basically, nasibega ngeta la seka city. Unga ege la malaita se chose ak plus. Unga plus wa malaita se chose. That's basically my message to you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank God.